There's a bunch of tutorials out there that will teach you how to make an animation, but how many of those are going to be infinite animations and how many of those are going to break your brain? Not too many. So uh, today we're going to make triangles, composed of triangles, composed of triangles. There's an infinite amount of geometry here. Not really, actually. We're using a trick that I'm going to show you uh, in this video. So if you want to find out how I make almost infinite geometry, keep watching. Uh, let's begin. And I know people say they get stressed out when I hit don't save, but uh, screw you guys. Okay, so how do we do this? Well, it's a triangle composed of triangles composed of triangles. So probably makes sense to start with a triangle. That's actually kind of hard to do in Blender. So here's a trick. Use a circle. Take that circle and make it three vertices, which is a, uh, a triangle. Learn that trick in the army. Okay, by the way, uh, tab and F uh, to fill that in. Okay, we have a triangle. How do we make the triangle made out of triangles? Well, here's a here's another trick I learned in the army. Go to edit mode. Sub. I didn't go to the army. Actually, the other day I was getting stressed out that World War III would happen and I would get drafted. This isn't relevant. Uh, take the thing, subdivide it. And you can see immediately, every time we subdivide it, we get a triangle made out of triangles. That's a key insight. I'm gonna take this and uh, delete the middle face like we're making a Triforce, okay? And now the key insight here is if we take this model, so it's three triangles that are in the shape of a larger triangle. If we take this thing, duplicate it, scale it by a half, so I'm making it half the size and rotate it by like, you know, 60 degrees, uh, we get this. I duplicate it again. I rotate it by 60 degrees. I scale it by 0.5. We get that. And you could just keep doing that over and over. So we're going to take this process and uh, do it at a arbitrary amount using geometry nodes. Let's do it. Okay. Geometry nodes. How do I uh, take that idea? Scale by 0.5, rotate each time rotating by 60 degrees more, scaling by, by 0.5 more. How do we do that? Uh, here's how we do a repeated process. And yes, I know there is a duplicate elements node, but that actually makes it more complicated. Uh, take a mesh line, the number of points on this line, and uh, you can make that line smaller. The number of points on this line, think of it as the number of copies. I'm actually gonna set it to zero so that the line is infinitely collapsed on a single point, but there's still 10 points. We're gonna take that and we are gonna instance on points. What does that mean? It means we have a bunch of points right here and on each of them, I'm going to copy our triangle. Now, of course, it's just gonna look like we have a single triangle because we have one triangle on top of itself, on top of itself, there's no difference. It's in this uh, rotation and scale that we're gonna get the variation. So how are we gonna do this? Well, our instances go from zero to one to two to three up till nine, and that's because there's 10 of them and indexing starts at zero. What I, what I wanna do is first of all, scale them by half each time. In other words, the first one should be a scale of one. The second one should be a scale of 0 0.5, then 0 0.25, because I keep multiplying by 0 0.5 again and again and again. And a way to uh, write that explicitly is take the index, again, the number of the instance, and say each time make it half as big. Well, what does that mean? It means take 0 0.5 to the power of the index. So when this is zero, it's 0 0.5 to the power of zero is one, then 0 0.5, then 0.25, etc. Take it, connect it to the scale, boom. <laughs> This is already uh, the basis for an infinite animation, but, and by the way, again, we can control the kind of resolution of this, uh, but we also want rotation. For rotation, we want the similar idea, right? We want to take the index and each time rotate by 60 degrees. So you could try to take the index and plug it into the Z axis, which almost does the correct thing, uh, but it's actually rotating by one radian. And we want, by, by the way, uh, rotation here is done in radians, not degrees. So instead of 60 degrees, um, if you know your radians, if you don't, it's fine. I'm not going to, you know, spank you for it. It's pi over 3. Don't worry about why. So, uh, and you want to multiply that. So there we go. It looks like a filled in triangle, but that's just because there's so many triangles inside a triangle. So you can see one, two, three, four, and you can see the pattern repeat in wireframe mode. Now, uh, what we could do here is we could uh, take this uh, inst these instances, this is a singular, instances is a plural, uh, we could realize them. So their actual geometry, and the reason you'd want to do that is it lets us apply a wireframe node, and you could see now we're getting the effect. Uh, but a couple issues here. One, when you scale it up, the wireframe gets thick, like, like Brazilian thick. So what we want to do is enable relative, 
which is great that we have this option, which will actually account for scale and make sure that as we scale it up, the wireframe gets thinner. Uh, but another issue is you're gonna see in geometry nodes, you're gonna see um, as we scale this up, it's almost like scaling slower and slower and slower. And that's because just like um, scaling was exponential, right? It was a power function, uh, zooming in is also an exponential. Let me tell you what, let me show you what I mean. So what I mean is if you take a transform node and you wanna scale and say, you know, make it relative to the time, it will look like this. It will get bigger and bigger and bigger and it almost looks like it's easing and it's slowing down. Again, zooming is an exponential process because we gotta go both on the X and Y. If this was linear, like a one dimensional thing, uh, it'd be fine. Either way, take, take it to the power of two, let's say. This will make it zoom twice at a speed of two in some sense. And you can see it looks linear now. Make it three, zooming in faster. By the way, if we run out of triangles over here, uh, we just increase the number of instances and uh, we're saved. So this is how we do the zooming. Um, another thing I wanna fix is it kinda looks a bit boring, uh, but remember everything we've done here is a, a single triangle, right? With uh, It's the single triforce that we did geometry notes to. If we subdivide this, in other words, add more detail, um, automatically all, all those instances get more detail and you can do whatever you want to this, right? You could remove the middle third and then all of these will have that removed, although that shouldn't make much of a difference in wireframe mode. But in solid view, looks interesting. Either way, th this is a cool effect on its own. I, I might need to explore that, but that's the thing. And uh, to get the render, I'm not gonna actually show you how I rendered, but just so you know, I went uh, not from the top view, but from the camera view, because uh, I thought that looked more interesting. I started on a frame where it's already expanded. So let's say frame 64, and now we're getting this effect. And to make it even more trippy, rotate it over time, hash frame over 30, and now you're getting something crazy. Whoa. Yeah. And, and I gave it, oh, by the way, again, more instances if you run out. But uh, this is an easy thing to make loop, right? You just loop, find the frame where it's the same as the beginning. That's the essence of it. Um, okay. So let's wrap this uh, boy up. Uh, if you enjoyed this tutorial, you know what else you might enjoy? Um, you might enjoy Patreon, which is as cool as this banana peel. I'm trying to do the Mediterranean diet, which means no added sugar. So my sugar comes from bananas now. Either way, uh, there's a link in the description for where you can get three benefits that have to do with these tutorials via Patreon. One, uh, you could see these tutorials early. I've started the backlog game. So uh, sometimes these tutorials are uploaded like three, four, five days early. So get access to those. Uh, second of all, you get blend files, so you didn't have to make this yourself. You could just download the project file, and for $5, you can download hundreds of project files since 2019. Um, that's a great deal, if I've ever heard of it. And uh, thirdly, exclusive tutorials uh, you get access to. Those are not available on YouTube. Uh, those, I actually, I actually made one uh, recently. Uh, but there's a catalog of those that immediately you get access uh, to all of them. This month, I made a... Uh, intense kind of geometry nodes tutorial uh, showing a more advanced way to do something I already showed. Don't, don't worry about it. Point being, uh, there's a link in the description. If you want those benefits, check it out. If you want to support this tutorial channel and the CG Matter channel, you like what I do, that's another way to uh, do that. And uh, yeah, make some triangles, get Serpinskied up. Hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something and have a, uh, you know, a phenomenal day. Why not?